Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is you, Ken. Welcome to Support Systems. The topic of discussion today is do what you came here to do. Now, on some level, we all know what we came here to do. And it could be multiple things. And it doesn't have to be anything that's seen profound by this world, you know? Dust from the job. Can't get it off. Can't get it out. Anyway, hands look like the walking dead. <laughs> anyway, I, I, it's going to take some time to get that off. Do what you came here to do. Now, that's a hard question. To, that's a hard answer to find. But, you know, all I can really say is if you have a definite goal or a definite feeling about something, Feel it in your heart. You should do it. The most high put on your heart, you should do it. Even if it's bad. <laughs> because I've come to find out. Do what you came here to do. Some people are here. I I know it was times in my life I give myself at it. I give myself up as an example of good and bad, right? The bad things that I've done to people that haven't deserved it made them better people. Made them better people. The bad things that were done to me made me a better person. The bad things that we do to ourselves make us better people. Sometimes, anyway. We learn from it. We choose to. So sometimes we're here for different things at different times in life, in different stages. Sometimes we're here to be the antagonist of the story. Sometimes we're here to be the protagonist. That's how I feel. That's how what I've been. And at this stage in my life, I feel as though I'm going to be different things to different people, no matter what I try to do. You know what I mean? I'm going to manifest what I want. And what I want is just to be a better person. And a lot of people do want that. But it takes a lot. It takes a lot of, um, you gotta, if you really wanna be, like, I w honestly, I wanna be more positive, you know, really. You know, it's a balance of everything. You're gonna be upset, but I wanna be more positive. So in order to do that, I'm gonna have to check myself more and more. I'll be like, you know what? That thought was jacked up. Don't think like that no more. And keep doing it over and over again like you're reading a textbook that you trying to memorize something for a test over and over and over and the, every day, every day, over and over again. And that's how I've been getting down. That's what I want to be and that's what I choose to be and that's what I'm going to be and that's what I am. So for you, it might be something different. For you, you might be like, man, forget everybody, man. I don't like people, yada, yada, yada. A lot of people say that. Don't like him. I don't like her. I mean, that's you. Sometimes you have to be there. To, you have to be that way for whatever reason to get you through the day. Some, I mean, to get you through your life. Because me personally... When I felt like that, I wasn't ready to be where I am now. I wasn't being ready. And not to say that it's a bad thing, because it's a balance to everything. It's a balance to everything. But those feelings are low vibrational. I ain't gonna lie to you. They are low vibrational. They motivate you, but they're also low vibrational energy. I mean, that's what it is. Just because it feels heavy. It wears you down, you know what I mean? I had to wait, man. But, um, yeah, that being said, I feel light on my feet. I feel like Sugar Ray Robinson sometimes. You know, he used to be a dancer. He's a uh, boxer. I feel like um, Dizzy Gillespie a little bit. I feel like Michael Jackson when he's doing the moonwalk. That's how I feel most days. And when I don't, 
I tell myself not to. I'll be like, you know what? It might take it might take a minute. But I know this one thing. It takes less and less time. It takes less and less time to get into that state. And I used to look at the people on YouTube and people I talked to in general in life even before it was a YouTube. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna tell it how it is. You know, this is just my personality. Not knowing that, you know, I could be whatever I want to be inside because I'm not just one thing. People are not just one thing. And it's hard to accept because you look yourself in the mirror every day and you and, you and I believe that we're that thing. But that's all it is, it's just a thing. You take care of that thing, which is your body, you know, your temple. But it's a thing. That's all it is. And a lot of times, like myself included, we're confined to that thing with our lusts and desires and our, um, our anger, and which anger is nothing but fear. I, I hold strong to that, you know. Um, Star, just, what do you say, Star Wars. They said it best, Yoda leaves it. You must never fear. Fear leaves the anger. Anger leaves the hate. Hate leaves the suffering. That stuff is true. But anyway, we're bound to those things to a certain degree. Because the real us is beyond all this. And everybody knows this on some level. Even like we're introduced to this in religion. But in a way that um, makes us feel like we're a little bit less than what we are, but that's not the that's not the original intention. The original intention is for us to know and understand the best way that a man and a woman can understand it is that we're that we're children of God, you know what I mean? And that means a lot. If we're children of God, in retrospect, that means that we can do anything, man. We can our words hold power. You can lift somebody up and you can pull them down. Or they can lift themselves up, actually, because words don't really mean anything unless you want them to mean something. So it's not somebody bring you down. You bring yourself down by your perception of the words and the actions that are taken towards you. And I know this because I've experienced this. So I'm telling you these things because no matter what, you got to do what you came here to do, man. And it's hard to find that out. It's hard to find it out. It's not always like, hey, like you want to make millions of dollars. Your destiny not, might not be that, to make millions of dollars. You know what I mean? Your destiny might not be that. Your destiny might be the influence people in a certain way and just a specific group of people a special group of people or one person one person you can affect in a way that you think is nonchalant think it doesn't mean anything but it does it really does and I'm not asking you to do what you came here to do. This is kind of like me telling myself to do what I came here to do. And a lot of times people see things in you you don't see in yourself. You know? Like, for example, um, like I say, like, um, when people use um, words like a person is um, an angry person. A person is a fearful person. I see that in the same light. Because, you know, I like Star Wars. And I look at stuff like that. I look at the hidden meanings behind movies and stuff like that. And I believe fear is the catalyst. And anger is the catalyst to pain and suffering in this world. And um, I have been a part of that. You know, I played my part in that. Because I got a lot of fear and anger in my heart. And I also have love there. And I'm struggling, not struggling, I'm practicing showing discipline in my heart enough to learn how to love better and to set aside everything that's opposite of that in order to get there. And I might not get here today or tomorrow, 
But what I can say is you can eliminate certain things in your life to make it there. Because some things you can just eliminate. Okay, why am I feeling this way? Oh, excuse me, is it the food that I'm eating? Probably so. A lot of that stuff is just food. A lot of that stuff is the drugs and the alcohol and the cigarettes and whatever else we take. All this stuff drains the body and corrupts the mind. And I know that for a fact because I, you know, I'm a former alcoholic. Uh, I'm a former tobacco user. Um, man, the, I, I, the funny thing about it is the hardest thing that I have to do now is get rid of them cookies and cakes. The stuff that, that can harm you the most. Because the number one killer of everybody is heart disease and diabetes. And that's the main thing that's going to get you those sodas and cookies and stuff like that. No matter how hard you exercise. But I say that to say, I'm going on a tangent, but I'm just saying this to say, like, what I came here to do is to affect the mind to change the world. Or affect the mind that affects the mind to change the world, which means that I got to show, improve being a father and continue to stand strong and show vulnerability at the same time. And to be able to say that you're sorry, to say that you're wrong, and to be an example to show what to do, what, you, what is right, to do what is right. All those things are, um, are not like really set in stone. It's different for everybody because you're, di you're, you're different than I am. I'm different than you are. And if you have kids, your kids are different than me. And they're different than you. So do what you came here to do. My name is You Can. I'm out.